Did you know that 78% of workers live paycheck to paycheck no matter how much they earn? That's right, even people making good amount of money, like six figures, they still struggle. Why? Here's the thing, it's not our fault. The game is manipulated and the system is designed to keep us in this cycle. So better watch out. Think about this. You go to school, get a job, work hard, save money, and yet financial freedom seems so hard. Why? Because just so you know, you're not poor. You're getting robbed. Society, schools, and the banking system all work together to make sure you stay stuck and struggling. In this video, I'm going to show you the hidden traps and tricks that are stealing your wealth. From the old-fashioned school system to the tricky banking practices, we are going to uncover it all. By the end of this video, you will have the knowledge and tools to break free and start building true financial freedom. But first, let me ask you this. Have you ever wondered why we don't learn about money in school? Or why do banks make billions from our savings while we hardly see any returns? Stick around because the answers might just change the way you see the world. Let's start with the education system. When we were young, we we're told to get good grades, go to college, and get a stable job, diba? Right? But what are we really learning? We're learning to be good employees, not entrepreneurs or investors. Schools teach us how to memorize and follow instructions, diba? Right? But they don't teach us about financial literacy, critical thinking, or entrepreneurship. Why is that? Because the system needs workers, not wealthy, financially free individuals. Think about it. How many of us learned about budgeting, taxes, or even investing in school? Probably not many. Pero importante yung mga skills na ito for building wealth. Instead, we are taught to follow a specific path that doesn't lead to financial success. The truth is, the education system hasn't changed much in the last century. It's still designed to produce factory workers for an industrial age that no longer exists. So what are we gonna do now? Because if we don't do anything, we will remain trapped together with our kids, grandkids, and our next generation. You don't want that to happen, right? Okay, let's talk about it later. Next, let's talk about the banking system. Banks are supposed to help us save and grow our money, right? But in reality, they profit from our ignorance. Low interest savings accounts, high interest loans, and a never-ending cycle of debt keep us chained. When you deposit your money, the bank uses it to make more money for themselves while giving us the bare minimum in return. I mean really, they earn billions and here we are, happy with just cents. And then they tell you to get loans and credit cards with high interest rates. Think about the credit card offers that you get in the mail. Uy, na pre ka ng ganitong amount. Tuwang-tuwa ka naman. They often present it as a solution to your financial problems. Oh, baka may kailangan kang bilin. Ito ang additional credit mo. Malapit na ang Pasko. Baka gusto mo ng bagong TV. Tinaasan namin ang line of credit mo. Banks make billions from credit card interest and fees. They want you to keep borrowing so they can keep earning. It's a cycle that benefits them, not us. Also, don't even talk about student debt. A lot of young people have debt even before sila mag-work. It's tough to get out of that trap. How many of you feel like you're stuck in a never-ending cycle of debt? Share your experiences below. We are constantly bombarded with ads and the newest trends pushing us to spend money we don't have on things we don't need. The consumer culture tells us that buying more will make us happy. But it only keeps us working harder to afford these unnecessary luxuries. This never-ending desire keeps us from creating real wealth. Companies spend billions on marketing to create a sense of urgency and need. Have you ever noticed how often people tell us we need the newest phone, computer, or clothes? It's all designed to make us spend money. The idea of keeping up with the Joneses is more common than ever, thanks to social media. We're constantly comparing ourselves to others and feeling the pressure to keep up. Na-feel mo na rin ba yun? Yung, ay, 
Meron bagong bag si Heart Evangelista. Dapat, meron din akong ganun. How often do you find yourselves buying things because meron si ganitong ganyan, meron si ganitong ganun? The job market is another trap. We're sold on the idea of job security. But in reality, jobs can be unstable and limiting. Most people work 9 to 5 jobs, trading time for money. This means your income is capped by the number of hours you work. The more time you spend working, the less time you have to invest in your personal growth, side businesses, or passive income streams. In short, you're trading your life away for a paycheck. Consider this, if you're working a 9 to 5 job, you're likely spending at least 40 hours a week at work. Add in commuting time and it's even more. This leaves you with little or no time to pursue your interests or build additional income streams. I hear this a lot. Many people feel stuck in their jobs because they need the paycheck to pay their bills. Everybody's got bills to pay, kaya kailangan nilang magtrabaho, minsan dalawa or tatlo pa nga. If you come to think of it, you're like a slave to your bills. The job market is designed to keep you dependent on your employer. Another thing is, we make our job a priority. I mean, napakarami ko nang narinig na mga tao na nagsabing may gustong gusto silang gawin, pero hindi nila magawa kasi may trabaho sila. So dahil sa work nila, Wala na silang freedom to live their life. What's that called? Prison. Remember, we're not poor. We're getting robbed by a system that's not designed for our success. But now that we know, we have the power to change our path. So, let's now talk about the important part. How do we break free from this cycle? The first step is awareness. Understand that the system is not designed to make us rich. It's designed to keep us in our place, stuck, struggling. But we don't have to stay there. Let's educate ourselves about financial literacy, investing, and entrepreneurship. Start small by saving a portion of your income, investing in stocks or real estate, and exploring side hustles that can generate passive income. It's also important to adapt a mindset of abundance and continuous learning. Financial literacy is the key to freedom. Napakaraming resources available online to learn about budgeting, investing, and wealth building strategies. Read books, listen to podcasts, and take online courses. Surround yourself with people who have a wealth mindset. Remember, building wealth takes time and patience. It's not about quick solutions. It's about making smart choices over and over again. Kung hindi tayo kikilos at kakawala sa trap ng sistema, sino pa ang gagawa? I always say this, nobody is coming to save you but yourself. Kung hindi para sa atin, gawin natin para sa mga anak natin at sa mga susunod na mga generations. We have the power to break the chain. Imagine a world where financial freedom is not just a dream but a reality for everyone. We don't have to accept the status quo. Let's take back our lives, our freedom. And that starts with us, right here, right now. Now that you know this, watch this next.